our uh, east wall. It uh, faces Newport Harbor. Fairly early on, we just we figured we weren't going to lose Newport Harbor. They were going to get past all these guys. So at that point, we took the cannon out and used it to house offices. So it was the officers' quarters. They had the uh, junior offices on that end, and it uh, increased in rank till the uh, camp commander was in the uh, far northern corner here. This gentleman here is Joseph Totten. He was our first commander, and he went on to be the uh, lead engineer of the Army Corps of Engineers. Very inventive fellow. He really uh, did a lot of experimentation. We got uh, yeah, four million bricks, a billion tons of uh, stuff. One thing that Newport didn't have was a workforce the size that could handle this kind of project. So we uh, sent word to Ireland and uh, brought over uh, 500 uh, Irish uh, laborers and their families and it's a big reason why Newport has got such a substantial Irish population to this day. So we've got the St. Mary's downtown and got the uh, St. Patrick's Day parade. And, uh, lots of Irish pubs. But they worked quite hard. and Girl Scouts and sailing groups and history groups and house 38 people, 38 bunks. So this is an example of uh, a casemate. So this window here, there'd, have, there'd be a cannon in here. And that one would guard the, uh, guard the east gate. Also, shoot down the uh, down the line there. If anybody was, that's the exterior wall all the way back. When the offices moved in, they did uh, plastering lathe. That's what all these holes are for. The holes I uh, would uh, nail wooden slats to the walls, and then it put plaster over it. They used uh, horse hair and um, oyster shells. So we have a group of scouts coming in this evening, in fact. There's a dining area for them. Functional wood stove. Uh, how many bricks. Essentially every room has this vaulted ceiling. And the, uh, the vaults are all separate from the exterior wall. So the exterior wall could be knocked down and the, uh, the casemate itself would still be intact and vice versa. These wooden pieces would have been uh, where they would nail the 
uh, slap some lathe for the plaster. And so we just have uh, three more uh, restrooms and some photography recently added. Safe America's Treasure Award, and we're a National Historic Landmark. So a lot of our funding comes from uh, grants and awards and such. So we have antique shows uh, every now and then, and this makes a nice sitting for uh, that kind of thing. But, uh, and the folk festival comes in, folk and jazz fest, and they love setting up uh, interviews and such in these spaces. It's really uh, pretty amazing stuff. So you can see they got the rosettes on the ceiling and the woodwork. Uh, the molding, we got the pocket sliding doors, there'd be multiple fireplaces. So depending on the size of the family would be how big an area the offices would get. So in the year 2000, we fixed a roof from the east, the east uh, wall and uh, the, north, uh, the north casemates as well. So that should slow down the deterioration a bit. So these uh, doors are so people can walk up to the buildings and look in and uh, still, uh, they're still safe. We don't want people going inside because it's pretty hazardous. It's nice that we used to have uh, gates and fences and all and uh, distracted. Major General uh, Centracchio uh, helped us commemorate the start of our renovations the year 2000 we put the uh, flagpole back up and uh, started on the uh, north casemates we've got an exhibit from the war college naval war college here and then we've got our rental casemates down there and this one here was the camp commander's quarters it's the first place from probable attack. The mouth of the bay is at the uh, southern end. He uh, located himself right next to the ammunition depot. So he was pretty, uh, pretty comfortable with how the fort was constructed. So we got three uh, bays of ammunition depot. Bristol 4th of July parade. 
And we had uh, <clears throat> one event here with a fancy uh, dining room set up and fancy lighting, and it really uh, kind of like a Gothic cathedral kind of set up. Pretty artsy. We had the island dance uh, troupe do a do an event here, and they really uh, dressed it up nicely as well. Those would be rifle ports that you're looking out through. another casemate where a cannon would go. They'd have a pencil here that would, uh, the cannon would pivot on. You can see the half circles of granite that